Donald Trump is calling for the creation of a national database of Muslims living in the United States. He also says he would consider shutting down mosques. KRDA News Channel 13's Rana Novini joins us live in studio. And Rana, is Trump's plan legal? Many people are questioning that tonight. Yeah, on the surface, Heather, it's not, according to several First Amendment attorneys. But Trump didn't give much detail about a plan. Regardless, it's not going over well in the local Muslim community. Refugees are pouring into our great country from Syria. We don't even know who they are. They could be ISIS. They could be anybody. What's our president doing? Is he insane? With more than half of the country saying they don't want Syrian refugees in their states, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump takes it a step further, calling for a national database of Muslims. Oh, I would certainly implement that. Absolutely. Specifically, how do you actually get them registered into a database? It would be just good management. What you have to do is good management procedures. As dozens of Muslims gather for a Friday prayer service in Colorado Springs, word of Trump's plan it's just outrageous. Is not well received. We lived as Muslims in this country for decades, and we've been contributing to the society and people in very high positions, serving as doctors, lawyers, engineers. And there is no reason to do this to us. A person who can't even manage his small business and keep track of who's legal and who's illegal, should we trust his competence in managing a database of millions of Muslims? Arshad Yusufi with the Islamic Society of Colorado Springs calls it a violation of the First Amendment. The Jews in Germany had to wear a yellow star, so are we going to be wearing a, a, a yellow crescent? Is that what he, he is he planning to do? All these amendments provide the equal rights for all of its citizens. Though the plan is nowhere near reality, those who practice Islam say it's disheartening that a group of terrorists are tarnishing its name. These people have hijacked our religion. Our religion is a religion of peace and tranquility. And several other Republican presidential candidates are condemning Trump's plan, including Jeb Bush, Ted Cruz, and Marco Rubio. You can watch Donald Trump and his family in tonight's interview with Barbara Walters on 2020. It airs at 8 p.m. here on KRDO News Channel 13. Reporting live in studio, Rana Novini, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, thanks so much, Rana.